Hold up, stop right there. These might be the most important sprues Mantic Games have ever made. Now I appreciate that might sound a little bit over the top, but let me explain. Now the first reason for me thinking this is the quality of these sprues has just jumped on another level. Now I'm not saying that the sprues that Mantic have previously made are bad and that these are just a little bit better, far from it. If you look at some of their other releases for Kings of War, like the Halfling sprues and the Goblin sprues, there's some really, really crisp sculpts on there. But what I would say about these August sprues is they've really kicked on another level. You can see there's a lot of love and passion has gone into sculpting these actual models. You can see that from a manufacturing point of view, there's a lot of thought that's gone into the placement and the way the different components are put onto the sprue. Mandic have used a different manufacturer for these sprues over stuff that they've used in the past. And the step on in quality that this new supplier has made really, really shows. Now, another thing why I think that these might be the most important ones is for what this means for the future and for future releases. I was fortunate enough to go down to Mantic HQ recently for their open day and I sat with Luigi who's their sculptor and had a really good deep conversation about his process and about what these sprues mean for him. He's been sculpting some amazing detail into miniatures for a long time and the old manufacturing processes couldn't always replicate what he'd managed to put into the design. He was really excited with these new sprues as it was the first time he'd really been able to see the love and detail that he'd put into the original sculpts being replicated on the final model. As an example, one of the things that he pointed out to me was the hammered metal texture that's in the recesses on the shields that in the past we would never have got to see something like that. Now another reason is because this sprue is of augers. Now this might not seem that obvious really on first thought, but if you're looking to get into a mass battle game of which Kings of War is definitely one, the number of models you have to build and paint can be a barrier. It can be of a bit of a concern, especially to newer players. For that reason, folks often look for that elite faction, the army that needs a lot less models than the others. And in this instance, Augurs are that army. For this reason, Augurs will be a lot of new players first dip of their toe into Kings of War. And when they get their hands on these new sculpts and they see how fantastic the quality is, this will then lead them into building that first army and then kind of falling in love with the game. It might seem like a small thing right now, but I can guarantee you over time, especially as this starts to roll out the quality into other armies, this will start to bring people into Kings of War. Now, another reason that some people might not know or maybe just even overlook, on these two sprues, one is a male sprue, and one is a female sprue. Each sprue can make up to three augers, and one of them has three male auger bodies, and one of them has three female auger bodies. And whilst this might not seem like a big deal, it's amazing how many games have purely just male models when it comes to their armies. The fact that Mantic have considered this and actually done something about it is a real step forward and something that other games companies could maybe take a leaf out of their book. It's also something that doesn't seem to be really getting mentioned at the minute, and I'm quite surprised this hasn't picked up a little bit more press. Now, the last thing I wanted to point out is that these sprues have a lot of flexibility. You can actually build three different Kings of War units from this one sprue. You can either build the Augur Warriors with a weapon and a shield, you can build the Augur Warriors with a two-handed weapon, or you could use the guns that are on the sprue and build them as boomers, not that kind of boomer. Now this is great for Kings of War players as it gives them a lot of options around what to do with the sprues, but it's also great for folks that maybe don't want to play Kings of War, but absolutely love these new models and want to build them for other game systems or maybe games of D&D or something like that. I honestly believe that I can't even really do them justice just showing them on some shots here. I've managed to get my hands on a number of these sprues and I've built them up in a couple of different ways just to try and show them off here. And I've even started painting one as well, which is not quite finished, but at least you can kind of see where I'm going with it. They paint up really quick. There's lots of texture and lots of detail, but actually not to the point where you're having to paint sort of 10 different colors to try and pick everything out. It's amazing how far a little bit of silver paint over the armor goes. These augers should be shipping anytime now, and I can't wait to see what the Kings of war community do when they start to get their hands on them and start putting some paint to the models i honestly believe that this is a huge step forward for mantic it's a huge step forward in the quality that they're producing and i really hope that this gets the publicity that it deserves mantic unfairly have a reputation for some poorer quality sculpts based upon opinions of folks who saw a model about 10 or 11 years ago and haven't really seen what mantic are producing these days i really hope that these get out in front of people and show just how good mantic's models can be let me know what you think. Are these models changing your mind about what Mantic can produce? Or are they making you think about picking up an Ogre army? Don't forget in the new year as well, we'll be getting the ambush boxes, which is the perfect way to get started on a smaller scale Kings of War game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.